Okay, folks, it's been a while, I know. Our big camera quit us, and I haven't had time to work on it. That's a joke. But anyway, I want to show you today where I'm at with Chinaco. And the first thing I want you to know is the pre-signal is on the bar, the bosal, and the macate is the lever. So I've positioned the hackamore. I've changed it around until I got it right where I want it. Now, because of sweat, leather, rawhide, whatever, you got to keep an eye on this to keep it consistent. So when I lift this, I want you to watch the, the amount. This is, it's rubbing the side of the muzzle. Okay, the makate is not touching the jawbone until there. So the amount of drop is about an inch. Now, this is very little room for drop. But I do that on purpose. I started off with a lot more drop and a lot more pre-signal. Well, now I've got to change it so that it's there. Now the idea is that I'm going to bump this horse no less than a thousand times every time I ride him. But the word bump means one ounce as opposed to ten pounds. So that's something that you've got to work out if you're going to make a hackamore move. So what also I want to share with you is when he's moving, he's learning to balance underneath me. Meaning, I had mentioned this before, you'll watch how a hackamore tends to allow a horse to put itself in collection. Because there's no part of his brain worried about his mouth. None of it. So I'm going to be bumping. And please understand that you won't see me bump a lot. But I do want you to notice him going in and out of collection, and that's him finding a balance of my seat. Now, if you take Sally Swift and Nuno Oliveira to watch them, their posture is pitiful. But the fact is, they are centered riders, and their horses get underneath them. Then everything is in continuity. So please understand, that's kind of how I see this. Now, what he's starting to understand is the stop by me dropping my spine... And the turn, he's starting to learn where his feet are, meaning he bangs on his own legs and then figures it out. So that's what this video is about.
this is why, to me, the hackamore. Okay, you can get the same thing done in a snaffle if you want. All you need is timing, but I want you to see the good, the bad, and the ugly, and then watch it over the years. And that's kind of the point of this whole thing about Chinaco. And I'm thrilled to death with him. I'll say it one more time. If I camp on him to get every move I made perfect, I will have turned him into a performance horse, which means resentment. He's a ranch horse. I need him to feel good about what he's doing so when I put a cow in front of him, he's not bothered. He can focus on the cow. Thank you.